If I go into the deviation alarm type, I'll have my analog one is my source for alarm A, that's my thermocouple, as I said it earlier. My alarm logic is open. So this is alarm logic, that's an ALG, then alarm logic open. That means that the contacts, instead of being closed on the alarm, they will be open. The alarm side is high. My, uh, my set point is 300 degrees, so that means if I've deviated around away from my set point by 300 degrees, that means above or below the set point, the deviation alarm will trip because I've deviated away from my set point. It's a non-latching alarm. It's blocked on startup, so that means alarm blocking on startup. Alarm silence is off. If I turn that on, that would enable the user to silence the alarm should it trip. So by turning it off, the user cannot just silence the alarm. Alarm display, I'll have that alarm when it's triggered displayed on my uh, screen here. Alarm delay would uh, allow us to set a number of seconds to delay the alarm before it's triggered or after it's triggered and before it makes or breaks contacts. Alarm status is none, so there's currently no alarm tripped. And we're back around to, we've gone full circle. Reset to go up one level. That's alarm one, I have two, three, and four. So you can see that one's off. That's just uh, default from here on out. Then I can go.